Branding. Why does it sound like something that you can't touch? Can't you touch how cold your pizza is when some brand has decided to suck for the night? <laughs> Well, why, why do we keep on trying to make someone else do our brands for us? When a brand is just the story that consumers recall when they think about you. To say that we can participate in building our own brand stories is to say that we simply cannot tell them. But we are wired to do that, and that's exactly why I'm standing here today. In 2012, I started working with 97 very early stage tech startups that had all sorts of chaotic problems. They did not have funding, they didn't have contacts, no resources. But then that's when I learned one thing, that branding can be hacked. And I set out myself to build a lean method that could help any startup hack branding. What I'm here to share tonight are four hacks that we learned along the way. So for our first hack, ethnography. We're all, we've all been told that focus groups are some sort of oracle. Uh, that they're supposed to tell you the truth, but how useful is it really to pack a group of people in a room with asking them completely out of context questions about whether they'll buy? Isn't it more natural to go outside and take a look at the interactions, the objects that are already taking place, that our users are already engaging with? So if you're building a mobile app, for example, you should go out there and take a look at where this app is being used, if there are already other competitors out there satisfying the need that you're trying to satisfy, and how you can get this user from point A to point B in their life. Now for the second hack, testing out our visual symbols. So picking a logo, picking a color palette or typography, it doesn't have to be guesswork. There are tools today out there that will let you test one symbol against the other for how effective they are. They will even let you ask questions about their emotional impact. So how does this logo make you feel? Happy, excited, bored to death? These are all possibilities. And what you're looking at in the next slide is an example of how a startup team uh, asked the simple question of which of the two proposed logos made more sense to convey the term voice activation. 62% of respondents backed up the, the B option telling the startup and giving them some insights as to which of the two versions worked best. After they did that, they were able to even supply an answer for why they thought so, giving the team even more information to work with. Now for our third hack, testing out your name. I keep running into startup founders and entrepreneurs that spend an overwhelming amount of time and resources trying to decide on a name, and I know names are important, but so is speed to market. So that's why we decided to use a tool called word association, where we ask potential customers which terms they associate with the proposed brand name when they found it in the center of a page. The results were outstanding. We were able to tell which kinds of associations these potential customers were making, whether they were positive, negative, or just off for the brand. Now, for our fourth and last hack, I'd like to introduce crowdsourcing. To hire a designer or an agency might sound like the perfect idea, and it would be the perfect idea if it weren't so expensive. Since startups don't live in ideal scenarios, there are sites like 99designs that can really help you find dozens of design proposals in no time for a small budget and from really talented designers. Actually, if you think about it, companies like TaskRabbit who have gone on to be very successful, some would say, started out with the help of a site like 99designs. In fact, their first logo came out of a campaign uh, where they got 150 different proposals from over 30 designers. So definitely do try this. The only question at this point, I guess it's, what are you waiting for? Uh, you've seen that branding isn't black magic. It's not obscure. I've shared four hacks with you tonight that could help you go out there right now and start building your own brand. Now, if you wanna take a look at other tips and tools and even our brand storyboarding template, which exists, you can go ahead and get the Lean Branding book or check out the website at leanbranding.com. If there is anything that I want you to remember from what I said is that your brand is just the story that consumers recall when they think of you. And now that you know that that is it, ask yourself, what's the story? 
And when you know the answer to that, please share it at Lean Branding on Twitter. Thank you.